Welcome to stage two, which starts us off in a bit of a predicament. We don't have a lot of move, uh, room to move around here above the pool, but that doesn't stop enemies from coming in from both sides. The key here is our tactical roll, which as I said before, acts as our dashing attack. You can actually mix the roll and its subsequent kick into any of your normal combos to great effect. There are also these lounge chairs we can break that have point items in them, but they're nothing important and they don't buy us any more room really, because they were taking up so little space. But yeah, now that that's out of the way, we have something much less hard to deal with. Just a whole bunch of the most basic enemy in the game. And thankfully we have a medieval battle axe to beat them with. Or we did. The weapons in this game don't last very long, but that's okay because the battles in this game don't last very long. If you kept the weapons for too long, then it would greatly affect the game's difficulty in a negative fashion. Hey, a new enemy type! These ninja warriors can shoot giant fireballs out of their- well, fire slashes out of their blades, and they can spin like a tornado. They can also teleport around and dash at super fast speeds. So what do you do? Well, obviously you just come at them from above or below where they can't even really hit you. And then you, you know, you pile drive them into the ground over and over. If you find yourself in the path of one of their attacks, you can simply do a diagonal roll to get out of the way, because you have plenty of time to do so. Just don't ever stand directly in their line of sight, though, and it shouldn't be an issue. Alright, it's time for long-range combat again, also known as smash the punch button as quickly as you physically can. Moving up and down does help you avoid enemy bullets, this is true. But the best way to get enemy bullets out of the way is to kill everyone who's shooting them. And lacking a turbo button, just mashing the punch button is your best bet. Please don't use the turbo button when you're playing a beat-em-up, unless you're a bad person. If you're a bad person, then go ahead. As I'm sure you've noticed, being in long-range combat does not mean we lose access to our close-range abilities. In fact, it's kind of important to use them from time to time. Freeing these two trapped civilians gives us a health refill. Well, not a full refill, but it gives us more health, which is important. Do you want to know what's in the middle locker? I don't know what's in the middle locker because I've never been stupid enough to open it. And if it turns out there's something great like a 1-up in there, then the developer sure got a giggle, didn't they? These fellows in the snazzy business outfits are even easier to defeat than... Uh, well, they're easy to defeat. I can't think of a good comparison. This guy, on the other hand, with the gas tank, he's a real asshole. The gas tank has immense range, deals super super big amounts of damage. And really, we just want to get him out of the way ASAP. And after we beat him, we get his weapon. Which is pretty great. Anyway, back to these guys in the suits. They seem to be adept at hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is a good thing to have, I suppose, but we can also defeat them very easily simply by, uh, grappling them. They should really think about getting less obvious weaknesses. Wait, what is that photograph right there? Is that supposed to be, like, a picture of the Kingpin? Or a picture of the Silver Surfer? Or what is that? I mean, it's not like the developers are still around so I can ask what it's supposed to be. It turns out that developing Rex Ronan is ironically very bad for the health of your company. Get it? I believe they did co-develop a title for Steam Greenlight. Way back in 2014, listen to me, way back in 2014. But yes, in 2014, they could have developed a title for Steam Greenlight. And it went into early access and then never had any updates. And that was the last anyone heard of them. So there's a reason we want this, uh, we want this katana and we didn't want to waste it on this guy. And you'll see why in just a moment. Well, it's time to make a complete fool out of this boss fight using our katana and our stockpile of grenades. We're not using our grenades for anything else, so why not? 